This week we have been thinking about our favourite snack. So on Monday we drew our favourite snack and we labelled our favourite snack. And then hopefully you made your favourite snack and you um, ate your favourite snack and put it on tapestry. Um, so now we are going to try and make a plan for the whole week of what snacks we would like to eat. So we're going to do a rough plan and then on Friday we are going to try and write our food journal. Okay, so we are going to use this plan on Friday for tomorrow's lesson on Thursday and also on Friday's lesson too. It's very important that you try really, really hard with this work because you are going to need it tomorrow and Friday as well, okay? <clears throat> now, I'm using my whiteboard like this. Hopefully you've got some paper that you're using at home. It might be better if you turn your paper instead of having it portrait that you have turn it and have it landscaped this way, okay? And hopefully that might fit more on for you. Or you might just need a few, two pieces of paper or something. We are going to start by thinking of our days of the week. So a few slides back, you should have put your days of the week in order. Now you might need help with this because it's still quite tricky. We do sing our days of the week song every day and you've been hopefully listening to that at home as well because that's been on your slides. So you should remember your days of the week. Um, but if you don't, your grown-ups can help you. So we're not going to do the whole week. We're just going to do Monday to Friday um, for this work, okay? So the first word we need to write is Monday. So the first sound is M. Monday. Monday. So, um... For Monday, my snack is jam on toast. That was what I did, wasn't it? So you can have the same snack that you did on Monday's work or you can change it if you want. I'm going to keep mine the same. And I'm going to label it. So, j a m jam, finger space, on... Finger space t o s t t o s t. Okay, jam on toast. And then my next day of the week is Tuesday. It sounds like the word Tuesday should be ch ch Tuesday, but it isn't. It's t t Tuesday. T use day. So it's quite tricky to spell that word, so you probably are going to need a grown-up to help you with that. On Tuesday, my snack is going to be a banana. Um, and I'm going to write B for banana. B. Banana. So you can see the word banana. It's quite, it's quite a funny word. It's ba a n a n a banana. And then my next day of the week. What is it? Monday, Tuesday. What's next? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And Wednesday starts with a w. W. days of the week are so difficult to write aren't they and on Wednesday I would like an apple I'm going to have a red apple and I'm going to spell it apple let's try and sound it out a -p -l. apple so it sounds like there's only three sounds in that. So my first sound is a, p, l, and we've got l and the f working together for a l sound at the end of the word, and those two p are working together there as well. So it sounds like it should be a, p, 
or apple like that and that's fine if you do that but if you can remember this is how you spell it brilliant so on Monday I've got jam on toast on Tuesday I'm having a banana on Wednesday I'm having an apple on what's my next day Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday that's right now Thursday has a digraph at the front of the word and it's um, the digraph so we've got a t and a working together. Thursday. On Thursday, I'm going to have. I'm going to have cheese and crackers. So there's my crackers. And there's some cheese. So, ch is my digraph ch. E so what's my next diagraph? Ch E, that's right, E. And that's two E. They're working together. So two E's working together. Ch E S and then an E again at the end of the word. So cheese and finger space and crackers. Cr -a as very long word that is so we've got a curly k, k r, a. we've got a digraph k in the middle of the word k, a diagraph er at the end of the word cheese and cracker i don't just want one cracker i'm greedy i want two so i need to write s at the end to make crackers so cheese and k r a and I've got one more day left. What day is it? I've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. What's my last day? That's right, it's Friday. Friday. On Friday, I'm going to have... What could I have? Oh, I think I'm going to have beans on toast on Friday. I think I'm going to treat myself. Have a big snack on Friday. So I'm going to have beans on toast. Here's my beans on toast. Beans. What's the first sound in beans now I need to label it? The first sound in beans is B, isn't it? So B, E, N. So if you want to write it like this, b, e, n, s, that's fine, you can, because that is how you use your phonics. But we have a different way of writing the e sound. You haven't learnt it yet. We would have probably learnt it if we were at school by now. So we've got b, e is an e and a a makes an E sound as well. It makes the same E sound as the E and the E. So, B, E, N, S, beans, on, O, N, toast. T, O, S, T, O, S, T, beans on toast. So now I need to check my work. So I've got Monday, I'm having jam on toast. Tuesday, I'm having a banana. Wednesday, I'm having an apple. Thursday, I'm having cheese and crackers. And Friday, I'm having beans on toast. Well, my food plan looks delicious and it's making me hungry. So I think I might go and get a snack now. I hope you have lots of fun making your plan. And remember, make sure it's your best work because you're going to need to use it for tomorrow's lesson and Friday's lesson. Have 